Hey folks, this is a very popular landscaping uh, bush. I call them bushes. Some folks call them trees. And we're going to measure them as trees. And as you can see, to get DBH, it can be rather complicated. <laughs> Look at all those trunks. They're gnarly and twisted and multiple. Well, I don't suggest to go to the standard height of DBH at 54 inches. Because that makes things a lot more difficult than it should be. So what we're going to do is go down to the point that we have a good representation of the trunk. And I believe that uh, we'll go down low and uh, try to go from the center of the trunk where it meets the ground. And we will go to one foot. So our height of DBH, we will use at one foot. Okay. And what we will do is, you, uh, you're going to put your finger there, camera lady Sarah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. Okay, let's see. That is... 16, about 20.25 inches, and then we divide by pi to get the diameter. And then we will go up one foot on each of these trunks. We'll go up about one foot right there and get the uh, circumference, and then on this one that's leaning over here, go about one foot and get the circumference. So. We're, we have three trunks we measured. Now on your data sheet, you have six spaces. So we will use three of those spaces, DBH1, DBH2, DBH3. So we'll get three diameters and use those three boxes. DBH1, DBH2, DBH3. So if this one's a diameter of uh, 7 inches, this one's 8 inches, and that one's 6.5, we'll have those in three boxes. So there you have it with the multiple trunk tree. Now, if a tree has more than 6, and you can't get it below 6, the number of trunks, just forget about the 7th and 8th trunk. Just do the six largest trunks. Okay? So when you get past six, stop. Thank you.